Today I'm testing out the Creality CRM4. This thing's absolutely huge. And uh, if you know anything about my channel, you can already guess what my first complaint is gonna be. And that's the fan noise. This thing is quite loud. It's just printing away, but there's some fans in the base of the machine that are just kind of ridiculous. So we already know what one of our first mods is gonna be. I'm gonna have to put some of these Noctua fans in there, get this thing to quiet down a little bit. But other than that, this machine is pretty impressive. It's extremely large. Here's our first bunny print that I printed out. And now we've got a calibration kind of test rig going. And this is just gonna test my overhangs and bridging performance. So we'll see how that turns out. Some standout features about this machine so far is, well, it's absolutely huge. So it's on the floor of my office instead of being on the table like most civilized printers. It's got linear rails for the Y-axis. This is actually an extremely sturdy setup for the Y-axis, and it's probably one of the nicest pieces of machinery that I've seen on a Creality machine so far. And um, we've got V-Groove wheels for the rest of the motion system. And those V-Groove wheels, I mean, they are a little bit more finicky to set up, but I personally don't think there's anything wrong with V-Groove wheels. It's just a matter of, do they belong on a machine like this with such a high price tag that's more geared towards industrial usage? I would say maybe, you know, since you're charging so much for this machine, you could get a couple more linear rails and at least throw some on the X-axis here. But overall, this machine seems to be working quite well. We've got a typical Sprite hot end on here, which is cool to see. That means my modder board should work on it. And we've got these uh, little stiffening rods here that help make the machine a little bit stronger because otherwise this whole vertical axis would be acting like a big springboard and it'd be bouncing back and forth when you do larger prints. But overall, you know, the machine's running pretty nicely. We've got our bunny test print. The bed leveling seems to be working pretty well. And I'm just curious to see how this thing turns out. If you've got any questions, make sure to drop them in the comments below, and I'll be able to address them in my full review video, which should be coming out in a couple of days. All right, thanks, and see you in the next video. Here we go. We're well into the print. It's laying down some weird stuff on top of the, um, the infill there, but I'm pretty sure that's perfectly normal. This print is looking pretty good so far.